Hello, and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Live. Um, tonight, reviewing this fella from Vocation. It's DDH Pale. It's a roll with it, a special edition. I think I got it from... Sainsbury's. I don't know. You buy so many beers. Forget where you're buying from. 5.2%, so easy, not too strong. Although only the second beer of the day. I'm slipping. I'm looking at mates on the internet. Good evening, Thomas. Mates on the internet, and they're already on about the fifth or sixth. And I'm like, what? So it says here, this is our free and easy pale with super juicy hops and a pillowy soft mouthfeel. It's the perfect beer for the good times in life. Hazy, hoppy, and dangerously drinkable. Expect citrusy notes of grapefruit, orange, and lime Beat with a soft, juicy finish. Amarillo and Citra for the hearts. Good evening, Thomas. So, it's chilly. My God, depending on where you are in the UK, it's really dropped. It's gone from being very mild for November to um, yeah, not so blooming mild. Good evening, Max. So, Getting back into the swing of things. I think six o'clock live reviews at six is going to be the thing. We'll call it the raggy hour. And uh, it will be an hour when I get around to it, when I start doing two reviews a day. So, hazy, orangey looking pour. Looks good in the glass, to be honest. Um, centimetre and a half head. Good evening, Steve. And, uh, yeah, looks nice pour. Bit, good, nice bit of carbonation going off there, if you can see it. I've got the old light ring on tonight. Good evening, Phil. Baltic went fishing this morning. Yeah, it says it's not not warm. Good evening, Mr. Goatead. Dave, how are you, mate? Yeah, so I think it was uh, Sainsbury's I got this from, but I can't be sure. Good hoppy. I'm getting tropical notes on the nose. I know it says grapefruit. I can get a hint of grapefruit. I'm, I'm swear I get in a bit of mango as well, to be fair. But I could be wrong. One never knows. I've just had some dinner as well. So, yeah. Hot dogs. Hot dogs in, in um, brioche bowls. Good evening, Chris. So, winter. Winter's finally decided to j join in. I think this is, this is like the autumn. This is to get you used to, you know, what's coming. And, uh, oh. By the end of the week, a high of six in the daytime and a low of two. It's going to be a chilly weekend next weekend. I expect snow. Huh? Very bitey on the front end. Drank at fridge temperature, uh, shed temperature rather. So it is really chilly. Um, good tasting beer. It's a good tasting beer. Got a nice nose to it. I would like to do an order from Vocation, probably after Christmas now. Not doing it before Christmas. Too much to pay out. But um, well, if you look on their website, there's some cracking beers again on their website. They really know how to tease the old um, beer drinkers. Good evening, Mark. And yeah, the Imperial Kirsch. That's some beer. That's bad. I've got the uh, I've got the the ring. I've got my phone now with a ring behind it, so it, the lights supposedly better. But uh, good evening, Andrew. Been a while. Twelve five hundred mil advent box for twenty quid, twenty euros. We don't get anything like that here. Channel Channel Ionic Brew. It is a different name, isn't it? Yeah, I've just been to Morrison's today. No, um, no Christmas beers. They've got some Green King stuff. So they've got Rocking Rudolph, 
and um, like a Christmas mix box of Green King. If you really want Green King. But the rosy nosy, the festive star and the white Christmas still not up there. But yet a lot of the countries had it. Bloody supermarkets. It's like dangling a carrot and then not, not being able to get hold of the carrot. Good evening, Benjamin. And uh, does my bolting because there's only so many supermarkets you want to visit at a weekend. Especially if you've been working all week, you don't want to go out to supermarkets too often. But the prices are generally a lot better than going to online shops. Which is a shame, really. I'm hoping this week I'm going to go down to a different Morrison's and try and pick it up. So, yeah. Nice, hazy, double dry hot. Reminds me in some ways of the of the Castle Rock double dry hot pail that they did. It, it tastes very similar. Black IPA Christmas beer on cask. Two quid a pint. I play there. Lincoln Green, who, who did the, uh, the Raggies beer, they're bringing out soon for Christmas, uh, on cask only, I think, uh, a woman raisin stout at five point something percent. And it sounds immense. And I've got to, got to get there. Used to be in Sainsbury's, yeah. Morrison's, I think, is the... Morrison's, I'm sure Morrison's used to have it. Yeah, Morrison's used to have it um, some time back. Ooh, St. Peter's Christmas Ale. That is an amazing beer. If, if I was to go and do an online order, that would be a beer at the top of the list. That and Shepherd Neem's Christmas Ale. Shepherd Neem's Christmas Ale is a stunner. But, Shepherd, is it Shepherd Neem? Yeah, what's that? But their their um deal online is not that not that great. Their mixed box is a bit pricey for what it is. Um, a lot of the other beers are supermarket beers, and you're paying top dollar to get them. I mean, I know they do sell to supermarkets, but you'd think the prices would be a bit lower. You buy from Marston's, you get their beers at a, at a good price. £3.37 our price. Can't fault that, can you? Yeah, the Christmas ale is nice. That and the winter's ale are well worth getting. <clears throat> it's a pity, really, that St. Peter's don't... I mean, they do the Discovery case now, which is a mixed case. That's brilliant. But it's a pity they don't do a buy your own, you know, choose yourself, box of 12. Because... Um, It'd be well worth getting your, all your favourites. Cream stout on mini keg, 20 quid. Yeah, their cream stout's bloody amazing as well. 6.5%. They do do some cracking beers. <laughs> hey, the my Audi orange and mint cream. Yeah. Yeah. I did have a full glass, mind you. So there won't be, there's not much left of both now. That she'll have to dab in because if she don't dab in, I'll end up drinking them. You know how it is. You go to the fridge, you can't be asked to go down to the shed. You go to the fridge, oh, look, what's there? Oh, mint chocolate, but um, cream liqueur. And it's like, yeah, get in the glass. Yeah, one quick glass later, jobs are good in. Next glass, and they won't last long, they won't last long at that. That's why I've got no bloody beer left in the shed or wine. I've ended up necking it all and uh, <clears throat> I've not restocked the beer room for a long time but saying that I need to get the beer wall down it's 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 all over the place at the moment there's beer all on the floor still uh, from from other beer beer halls so in a lot of ways not being able to not being able to go out and buy beer is probably a good thing for a bit. Yeah, the wine's not great. Yeah. Yeah. I do need to do a brew. I might do a brew after Christmas. I usually do a, a red wine for Christmas, though. Cream liqueur for the first time. I tell you what, you can't go wrong with any of the Audi or Lidl. Don't go for the cheap stuff. You know that, the £3 stuff. Don't go for that. It's not nice. But the £6.99 stuff, that's fine. 
and Aldi at the moment to do a mint chocolate, salted caramel, chocolate and orange. And uh, Bailey's was also. Ba Morrison's Bailey's, $9.99 for a litre. Yeah, the proper stuff is decent. There's no doubt about it. But um, you can't get like the mint. You can get the chocolate and orange version of Bailey's. You can get a salted caramel. Morrison's are also selling the apple pie Bailey's for a tenner. Bloody tenner. I paid 16 quid for the song. Tasted good though. Went down ever so easy. Yeah, it's all gone there. Yeah, MOT this Friday. Ow. Yeah, God knows, you know, well, you don't know, do you, till you go. There's nothing I know wrong, but then again, I can't see what I can't see. I don't know if breaks need doing uh, or anything like that, so it's going to be interesting. You get another cheap year out of it, I'll be happy, and then uh, look for something bigger. I want, I want an estate car, to be honest. I put all the crap in my car. It's no use having a nice car. I need a scruffy car. Scruffy car to put mirrors and stuff in. And something that's not too high as well, because it's bloody, you know, when you're lifting mirrors into cars, not good for your back. Push your back out. Sainsbury's uh, Irish cream liqueur is good as well. The taste difference. Uh, if you do, a, you do a blind taste test, Sainsbury's is slightly thinner. Than, than Bailey's and slightly less harsh on the palate. <laughs> uh, I can't run the risk of taking it to special blues. Yeah, Morrison's one litre. And they're obviously going to be doing that for a while. I looked in Morrison's warehouse today as I, as I walked by the door um, and they've got loads of Bailey's in the background multiple pallets of it so they've obviously come to a good deal with Bailey's and I mean Bailey's is a big seller this time of the year Bailey's, Prosecco and uh, all that sort of thing, Books Fizz and that yeah I know bloody low cost he's late getting them out this year Um, I bobbed it now I, I won't be able to get one uh, MOT swipes. Well, all my spare money's gone towards my MOT, so I ain't gonna, you know, run the risk of buying one and then end up struggling. Yeah, you'll find that. You'll find that with a lot of supermarkets. Not so much a loss leader, but they won't make money on it. No. So they, they, they I, I would guarantee they're not making any money on 10 quid a bottle. Hey, well done, Dave. Well done, mate. We had a, um, a, an Andy man job at go at my workplace. The, the other Andy man, he left. And, um, yeah, so it's been filled now. But, so that would have been up your street. And there's actually a flat at one location, uh, at the Newark location. Yeah, there's a flat upstairs, a two-bedroom flat. Needs a bit of work, a bit of work done, but, uh, a lot of wasps up there, but uh, the housing market's ridiculous at the moment, isn't it? Prices, Jesus Christ, everything's gone through the roof on the price side of things. Well, depending on where you are in the country, in Nottingham, it's just silly money for these things. Oh. Yeah. They all do. They all do. You'll, you'll find. You'll find with um, supermarkets, there's always something they'll sell stupidly low. If you look at Tesco's last year, they were selling uh, Grey Goose for 25 quid a bottle. Nobody ever sells Grey Goose for 25 quid a bottle. So they either got an amazing deal from Grey Goose or they were just selling it to get people in. Same with Jack Daniels when a litre's at 20 quid. No one's making money on 20 quid. Tesco's had some new craft beers in. Right. 
We were supposed to get some, but they hadn't appeared in. Yeah, you have to be very, you have to be very, you have to be very cute at the moment with where you shop because uh, prices and stuff's gone up through the roof. <laughs> You're gonna make fifty k on yeah. It's fair play there, mate. Fair play. You need a new laptop. Get a Chromebook. Don't bother a laptop. Crap. If you can make money off it, it's a good thing. If you can do the work yourself and you're not paying out, and you can make money and, and turn it into a sustainable way, then it's a good way of doing it. You know, as long as you don't go silly on the inside stuff. You can pay out so much, but you don't want to go too silly because, you, you know, you've got to look at your market, I suppose, haven't you? I'd love to win the lottery and buy my own um, place and turn it into a little micro pub and brewery behind. Yeah. Brew your own beer, sell your own beer, never be sober. MacBook Air, 900 quid. You've got expensive taste. Loose change. Tesco's got a new brew water. Brew water. That's sad, that is. Cloud dog. I'll get them when I get them. I'm not so bothered about getting to the front. I've got to get. I've got to get the beer reviews. Um, the beer stock down. Stupidly amount of beer stock. And for Christmas, well, I've got twelve coming from one brewer, which I've already ordered. Six coming off my daughter. Twelve coming off my wife. Possible 12 coming off my son. So, we're going to get another 60 or 70 beers just for Christmas. So, got to be careful. Right? I'd love to win that as well, Andrew. 10 grand a month. God, the life you'd have. You could blow 10 grand one month on it, on well, for a few months, blow it and just get a new car. Or get one on finance. Get, get one on lease. So you've always got you always get a nice new car. Holidays to America. Oh. When you see what the footballers get, money they get, you know that is it messes on five hundred grand a week, and you're like Jesus Christ. If all the rich people shared the wealth in the world, there'd be enough money for everyone to live a good life. It's a shame, really, that greed causes so much. Anyway, so, oh, just warming up in the beer room. The fire's on. It's quite toasty, actually, ne next to the fire. Magic Rock IPA. Is that a new one? You get to the stage with 500 grand a month. You get to the stage where what can you buy? I mean, what can you buy? I mean, I'd be buying stuff, but me, I'd be buying stuff and, and putting people to work and like setting up uh, new woods, you know, new woodlands and stuff like that, or solar farms. Ooh. Seven bottles of decent mold. Fair play. Channel Ionic. Hmm, I like that one. Fair play, December the 31st. That'll be a nice new year. Nice to break in the new year. It's in Dan up doing. That reminds me, I need to get the uh, dog's bed in tonight. He pissed on his bed, so <clears throat> smelly bleeder. So he cleaned the bed about a month ago and went and brought it in yet. Yeah. How much did you set you back? <laughs> So going down nicely. Um, that's tropical flavoured beer. I would say it says on the back that it's more grapefruit, but I don't think it is. Grapefruit, orange, and lime. Soft, juicy finish. I do get a hint of grape, 
I'm not sure if I get the... Um, <laughs> so, I'm not sure I get the line. I do get orange and um, grapefruit. A nice hoppy nose, tropical. <sighs> tropical more than citrus for me. Although the aromas died down now from what it was. <sighs> Make it a red. Looking forward to these advent calendars. I, I like, you know, like at Christmas when you don't know what you get uh, <clears throat> when you was a kid. And uh, it would be nice to open up these calendars and not have a flipping clue what's inside. I think that's what, what was great last year when I did the two beer advent calendars. It was great not knowing and then being either surprised or being, um, <clears throat> you know, miffed and looking at the hell's this stuff. Looking forward to that. Got the Christmas decorations up today. Just got to finish them off. Been up the loft twice. I'm not going up again. Sod the loft. Hate going up the loft on ladders. We've just, she's just watching a Christmas film now. I've already watched um, Polo Express. And Christmas Carol. I watched them too. Um, yeah, the Thornbridge one is well worth it. Right. Good evening, Bolton. Yeah, I don't really want to say on it. I, I can do without say in there. Could you imagine someone shoving a bottle in Ninkazi and just to say, yeah, you fuck it, drink that shit? <clears throat> but um, hopefully not. We'll never know. 10 days to go. Yes, 10 days to go until we uh, see, uh, see how these how these advent calendars play. And uh, yes, mate. Yes. And good evening, David. Yes. I'm going to try and do them all at six o'clock each night. Right. Drinking Baileys. Fair play there. I do like a nice Bailey's, to be honest. Yeah, I'm going to try and keep them at the same time. Um, try and get a dinner before. And I got a bit silly in the summer months when I was doing four reviews and big beers. So, but the advent calendars, generally, the advent calendars are generally lower ABV. You don't get, they're never going to put 10% in uh, every day because they'd never make no money on it. Yeah, it'd be good to do it again and build things back up. Because at one stage, it was it was a good crack. And then, obviously, COVID ended and that. So it'd be interesting to see how the, how the winter months, especially the winter months, because generally a lot of people stay in on the winter months. Um, I've got a couple of nights out in December, so that'll be interesting. Um, yeah, we've got three nights out. So I'm going to have, either have to do early lives or late lives. Um, but I'll I'll sort that out. Yeah, it's nice. It's a nice tasting beer. To be fair. I prefer an imperial curse, but that's me being a pisser, <clears throat> wanting something stronger all the time. Yes, I'm out on the fourth, the tenth, the eleventh, and we were supposed to be going out on the twenty second. I can't be bothered. Not yet. No, we haven't got all our Christmas presents yet. No, still still trying to get some. I've got my wife a fair few, but um, <clears throat> I want to get her a surprise. It is nice. It is nice. Uh, I've ordered the Form Bridge and uh, the Adventure Beer. Adventure Beer Advent Calendar. It's all local to the East Midlands. Some very good. <laughs> yeah, the, the advent calendars were all good last year. Yeah. I mean, I think in the, the, the adventure beer advent calendar, I had one one beer that I wasn't particularly keen on. 
and with the low cost, there was a, there was two or three that I thought didn't really uh, didn't really float my boat. Especially when I got two partisans, one after the other, it's like Jesus Christ. And uh, yeah, the first one I wasn't keen on, and the second one it was like, oh, you're taking the pick. And uh, I could just imagine somebody filling the box and thinking, "I'm gonna like this." Oh, that's interesting. Where's this? We're decorating after Christmas, we are, yeah. We're going to start decorating in January and try and be done for about March, just before spring starts and the warm weather and that. Yeah, what's the place? Not micro beer crate, is it? No. They do some interesting uh, cheap stuff. I'll be interested in self for this. Always interested to see where cheap beers are going. Anyway, Jesus Christ, 26 minutes. I need to wrap up. <clears throat> I've still got loads of Ubering to do. Christmas lights to pull up and, uh, yeah, another bit some problems. No rest for the week. I found my bloody jigsaw. Well. Not my jigsaw, my drill. I need to find my drill. So, hazy orange pork. White egg. At the beginning, I got more of a hoppy nose, and I certainly got tropical at the beginning. I thought I was tasting mango. I certainly got grapefruit all the way along. Ah, okay. Yeah, and uh, yeah, fun. I mean, it's easy orange, white egg, good carbonation. It's a nice pour. Very easy drinking. 5.2%. You can't fault it with what it is. Do I like Christmas pudding? Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. I had, we had a, was it a salted caramel one the other year? Didn't like that. No. Didn't like it at all. I do like the richness. I do like a nice brandy sauce, though, with it. Not custard. You know, proper brandy sauce. Brandy custard. Like it's called. And, um, yeah, that's luminous light. Right? So, would I buy this again? Uh, probably not. It's not a beer I need to put on my to-do list. Uh, it's one of them that you drink once you like, and you think, nah, that'll do. Um, for me, though, decent tasting beer. A good 4.2 out of 5 for me. But yeah, it's got to be brand new stuff. So, yeah. Nice enough beer from the older Vocation Brewery. And that's it for this beer review. I'll go up the house, get a bollocking off the wife. And um, don't want to wind up too much before before the, December the 1st. You'll be giving your Russian lady a Christmas pudding. Is that what you call it? <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to give you the Christmas pudding. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, luminous lights is good. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's fantastic. I can Simon say this is that good and then slag the Imperial Banana off and pour it down the sink. Very inconsistent. I mean, we all like what we like, but that is very inconsistent. Anyway. Got everyone. Thank you all for joining in. See you tomorrow night at six o'clock. Cheers all. I turn it off now. Hey, broadside is a good one. I ain't had broadside for ages. Need to get one. <laughs>